Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a very special video showing you uh, hornworms and how to spot them and the damages that they can do. So uh, here I have a plant. This is my Super Peking. And I just found a hornworm on it because you see those black dots right there? <laughs> that is a sign that there is a hornworm or some kind of worm somewhere. And if you look right above it, there he is right there. It's, it's very difficult to see because, you see, that's, that's him right here. Because he's very green and has really good camouflage. And he, he looks just like the leaf. So let me see if I can give him a different angle. There he is right there see there so underneath you see those black dots that's an indicator that these worms are around so um, I think this one is about a week old they're very tough to spot when they're this small so they'll they'll eat the leaves and you will see holes in it and you see next to him the leaves has been chewed you see that so like the top of the leaves was chewed and then he'll poop right down next to it so if you find those kind of black spots just inspect and you may find one of these guys somewhere so I'm gonna leave him here and then we'll track his progress and see how much damage he can do uh, it may be very difficult to find him in in the next few days because they do move around and they hide very well so um, we'll see uh, once he gets bigger and uh, you can see the damage that he can do to this plant. All right, guys, today is the third day that I spotted the worm, and man, he is doing some work. So there he is right there, uh, eating away. He's very active. So he cleaned off, see that branch? Cleaned that one off in just two days. And he's still here eating. So there it is, right? He's right over here. I'm gonna see if I can move there it is he's right there he's just chowing down eating I think he heard some noises so he kind of stopped but there it is right there just hanging out eating getting bigger okay and let me show you his poop see there's some on the leaf right there those black spots and then on the ground right here see those black spots right there those are all his poop so they <laughs> You can tell that these guys are around. You see droppings around or on the leaves somewhere that looks like that. That's what the, they're doing. They eat a lot. He's right over there just hanging out. He kind of stopped eating right now because uh, he heard sound or I was moving uh, the pot. So that's usually how uh, uh, sort of like they stay safe. In camouflage if they hear any noises they'll just stay completely still that's why it's very hard to spot them so uh, we'll be back soon all right guys today is day number five after I spotted the worm and he's grown exponentially larger and at this stage he actually eats more than just the leaves he's starting to chew on some of the young tips of the branches and this is the size of him wow it's just they grow so fast so that is why after um you see a few of these on your plant then you notice that a lot of the tips and stuff have been topped so he completed e eating that part over there see he stripped the entire branch so he slowly moved over here so i think after today he's probably going to strip the entire thing uh, or this whole branch here and uh, because he's gotten so large it's gonna take him very little time to to eat the entire branch um, here are some of his poop they gotten larger as well see that those, those spots so wherever he moved that's the droppings that he leaves behind so there it is right there he's getting very big in just five days so if you guys miss him in your garden 
uh, and not see these guys and this is the type of damages that you would get all right guys today i was gonna remove this guy here off of my plant because he's been eating like crazy and then i saw this fly here i don't know if it's a fly or it was something else but um it's just keep bugging the um the caterpillar it is a fly actually so it keeps flying around and bugging this guy <laughs> look at that so I, let me see if it uh, there it is again see there so the, the worm is trying to fight it off but it keeps coming back attacking the worm see he's he's like irritated somehow i don't know what it's doing so you see that he's just swinging back and forth very very irritated something's happening but uh yeah he doesn't look very comfortable so i'll keep this rolling and see what's going on so he he's rubbing his head against the branch and so the fly is still around See there it is again. It's just flying back and forth. I don't know what it, what this is doing. So there it is. Wow, that guy he got big. Cause look, he's eating all of these branches here, and that, and then that man he topped like over a third of the plant in just a few days. So see the fly is still back there, bugging him. Anyway, I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's trying to clean himself off. But uh, this is going to be the last update. I need to remove this guy. I'm, I may put him over to uh, my tomato plant that I have extra so he can just eat his way. But I can't leave him on here because he's just destroyed a, a lot of the, the plant. And because of this <laughs> experiment, I'm letting him eat all this stuff. But He's eating, eating half of the fruit over there too. Man, this guy is just eating everything. So uh, yeah, he's getting very, very big. So that is it, guys. I'm gonna take him off of here and then put him over there and the extra tomato and then uh, just let him eat. All right, guys, here is the extra tomato plants and that's him right there i have to cut the branch because if i remove him uh, it probably uh, would damage him because he has like an iron grip on those branches so it's very very difficult to remove so if you don't want to damage him you just cut the branch off and let him crawl on to these tomatoes once uh, he's ready to go and that's where um, he can feast because these are my extra plants and he can have as much as he wants so that is it guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe